Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Computer, and last episode I made solar panels and also water pumps, which is good. These will stop any planet I have, as long as I put down enough of them, it will stop the planets from going into blackout uh, mode where all everything just shuts down even uh, the actual sorters that uh, feed these guys here for instance but uh, that that would be nice and then also water pumps to pump well water yes but uh, more specifically and more importantly sulfuric acid which would be nice and i'm also going to take some more of these with me uh 30, I mean, sure, it would be more than enough, I think, because I don't have any sulfuric acid oceans here. But yes, uh, having more doesn't hurt, I hope. Let's see. Yes, good. Now, what do I want to do today? I'm thinking graviton lenses that I will then turn into space warpers. It's not as good as uh, using gravity matrices, because one gravity matrice, uh, matrix, sorry, singular, can turn into 16 space warpers. Yeah, it says there uh, one gravity matrix turns into eight. However, when you make uh, the gravity matrix, every single lens turns into two gravity matrices. So turning gravity matrix into space warpers means that every single graviton lens turns into 16. Uh, I guess I phrased it badly. Anyway, yeah. However, gravity matrices requires quantum chips and they are annoying, especially plane filters that require Casimir crystals. It gets easier later, but that's a lot of hydrogen that I can't really afford to put into Casimir crystals because they are currently being put into uh, deuterium fuel rods, which is powering this planet. So I don't want to, I don't want to spend that, so to speak. And then also titanium glass, which is fairly easy. It's water, titanium and glass. It's very, very easy indeed. However, also then processors, but yeah, the Casimir crystals are kind of annoying. Anyway, so not really going to use gravity matrices yet. I will get there, but uh, not until, no, not th that's not one there. I can make Casimir crystals using... Which one is that? I keep forgetting. It's called Optical Grading Crystal, which is a rare resource that uh, cannot be found in this system. Anyway, um, so that's the plan for today. However, Strange Matter requires Particle Colliders. And Particle Colliders are right there and require a lot. Titanium Alloy Frame Materials. And then super magnetic rings, we've got that one covered. And graphene and processors. I'm thinking I should just handcraft the ones I need. Although that's also very annoying. Do you know what? This could be... This could be a time to go to Mimosa 1. I've been thinking uh, that was the wrong direction first there. I've been thinking about local logistic systems and whether or not that wouldn't make some amount of sense. Because you can limit them fairly easily. Um, well, we, I can't really look at a map right now, but... Uh, Hmm. I'm not really sure yet. 
if it would work or not, if it would uh, look good, etc., et and whether or not I would be breaking my own rules, which I guess is the bigger question. Oh, wow. Where am I, in fact? Okay, um... Equator right here. And north is that way. That way. There's a lot of everything here, though. Well... Thank you. I'm impressed that I can move these things up without destroying them until I do that. Just kind of impressive, to be honest. Yeah, uh, nope, that's going to be a problem too. There we go. Now, one of these guys right there. Not sure. Well, one thing that I absolutely do need is not going to be... Well, it's going to be there, but uh, I can't do that yet. So let's go with that and get about... Sure. 1,500. Let's just request that directly. And, of course, yes, 2,000. Of course you're going to try to fill it entirely. That's fine, then. And then... Let's see... I'm thinking... of doing this. Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh, foundation. Remember when you had to hand place every single one of these? That was quite the nightmare. Alright, we have solar energy. I'm just gonna double check that... No! I did not place all of them. There we go. Now I did. I probably want to terraform the rest of this planet too, but... That's gonna be very annoying. I mean, just look at this. So I'm just going to do it piecemeal, though, on the other hand, did I remember to put foundations in as... I did not. Well, that's great. Let's go fix that. And of course, you're on the other side of the system now.
There, I'm not going to terraform the entire planet. I'm also going to make sure to uh, actually work with this as north. Uh, but however, I do want a good work surface. So let's go create one of those. For now, this will have to do. I'm thinking of also quarantining it, kind of. But I only have 31 of these left, so I'm just gonna do that. And that. For now. Oh, hello. Missed a divot. There we go. All right, so what kind of a plan do I have? Well, let's see. I should make these miniature particle colliders as well. The problem is making them in one go is going to be a nightmare. However, it is possible to use planetary logistics to make a localized logistic uh, logistics network that will not accept or send any resources anywhere else. And so I'm thinking that's probably what I want to do. Let's say we start up here and then we set uh, another tower down here. Now, this is a... they're just ordinary planetary logistic system. However, transport range of drones, if we set that to 20 degrees, then it will only send to stations that are at most, I think this, no, 20, 20 is, let's see, 45 would be about wherever, some here. Come on. I want to see the grid, but I also want to see... Yeah, I guess this will have to do. Let's see. This is 90. This is 45. This would be 20, I suppose. Roughly. Yeah, it will only send to about here. And I'm guessing it will send just fine here or anyone that's down here as well. We can test that though. Let's see, we have some wait, uh, something I actually have there. No, I can't use those. I'm gonna have to use belts. Yeah, good. And then we have some belts in here. Now, bit of a problem here. No power. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good. And if I put a copy of this one down here, it should also get, except of course, no power again. There. 
You should be asking any second now. Supply, uh, all right. Yes, good, 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 good. Fine, I should not delete you yet before, because then these two drones will be just disappearing. Oh, hello. No, don't mind. Ooh. Scary. There. All right. So that's a kind of a plan. It feels like uh, I'm cheating on the original premise of this Let's Play, where I said no, nothing but raw resources, though. So maybe I shouldn't do that. On the other hand, these are all really annoying, especially you. But all of these will give me extra... Yeah, some extra hydrogen. Except you and you. Then again, I don't need much. I mean, it's 15 seconds to make one. And you take 20, 20, 50... 10 and 8. Yeah, I guess this is all very fine. The only one here that is annoying is carbon nanotube. Yeah, I guess I don't really need it. Um, I should have more than enough space here. What I am going to do, however, is this. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll... Maybe I have to use that local logistics system at some point in the future, but uh, for now, this should be fine to make the way I have been making things so far. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, time lapse.
Well, it is working, sort of. I've made a whole whopping one so far. I kind of underestimated just how many supermagnetic rings you need. 50 per one. That is an amazing amount. And honestly, I feel like I should copy this whole setup once more. In fact, actually... I could probably just copy this bit one more time. Let's see if it holds. Let's see, it should be roughly like so. Nope. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, right, no, 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 no. It should be roughly... Like that, I think. Except I don't know that I copied this bit. Anyway. Oh, it's so very close. Yeah. There we go. That's it. And then once more. There. Now, how many? Let's see, I made 109. Maybe it's enough. Uh, there we go. It was not enough. Wow, that's... I need to automate these. And let's see, Mark III requires the quantum chips again. And particle broadband, yeah. I'm gonna have to automate at least the Mark IIs. Probably next episode. It is fairly easy now, I think. Yeah. But yeah, this is still not enough, I feel. Maybe. Well, I can do that, I suppose. And then just feed these in there. And there and there. Yeah. All right. Let's get in. Well, we have a couple of miniature particle colliders, and if I just let the game run for a bit, then, well, I'll probably have more than enough to make at least a rudimentary, like, space warper program. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, the problems there is probably going to be deuterium. Because, well, no. This requires some hydrogen. So, or, or rather, it doesn't require hydro hydrogen, but it does produce hydrogen. So it could work, could work. Yeah. Also, yes, the power is a massive problem. Let's fix that, just quickly. Hello. Mm, yes, we do have 2,000.
There, that fix it. Very quickly. And... Yeah, probably doesn't have any issues there. Still don't know if this is enough to keep it always above... Well, it, no, no, it was. Never mind. It, it definitely was. Oh, well. And, uh... Yeah, the spaghetti isn't looking too bad either. Could probably fix these two a little bit nicer. But we are getting more than enough of everything. Honestly, this could be trimmed quite a bit, it appears. Maybe even the... no. Maybe not. Honestly, I did not expect supermagnetic rings to be the problem. I expected these frame materials to be the bigger issue here. But no. Definitely not. Interesting. And I don't think I can make this more compact. Sadly. Well... No, the only... The only way I can make this more efficient is with proliferators. And that would just not be compact at all, because I would have to proliferate every single one of these as well as just a raw materials here. And that just would not work. Maybe if I just proliferated the these guys into this one, I would still get 25% more of these ones. Could work, could work. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. But all things considered, this is good. Because it's one step closer to space warpers. And with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Dyson's Air Program. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>